I'll tell you what, different is the most abused word that anybody can do. From a journalist to a designer to an actor, everybody says this collection is different, this role is different. And what is so different in your collection and who's the showstopper in your collection are questions that I'm bored and tired of. So I've got to say that there's nothing different. And uh, what's there is what I'm representing, what I represent, which is color, glamour, bling, nets, chiffons. That's what I represent and uh, that's what my label stands for and that's what the collection is all about. It's, it's about a summer wedding. The last spring summer I had done, <coughs> like a, a, the theme was showtime, so I'd done a whole collection which was full of uh, a riot of colours, it was fun, it was a very western line with a lot of bling. Um, this time I've partnered with Philips and the whole idea is sense and simplicity. Um, this is the first time I'm showcasing my bridal line at Fashion Week. So uh, it's a complete couture, though it's spring summer, it's complete couture and it's, uh, it's, it's a completely Indian uh, driven show. It's, uh, it's, a, it's my first bridal line that I'm doing at Fashion Week. You know, I would say the first, uh, like in 2000 when I was uh, just a costume designer and I had just started my store, Reverie, and uh, I was invited to be a part of the finale. So I had never really done a Fashion Week and here I was with Rohit Bhan and Reena Dhaka doing a fa Fashion Week. In, uh, I remember that was in um, at the Taj. And uh, the second one was of course when I did the finale recently which I did a lot of vintage clothes and um, it was the best turnout fa like my Fashion Week has ever had. And uh, of course even my last shows was the best turnover that like my Fashion Week has ever had. So. But it's, it's just that, um, yeah, so those are, yeah. But it's very strange because before every show, I'm like, oh my God, the seating arrangement and what's happening, you get hyper, there's some screaming shouting happens. You just get older and you, you do so many shows, but yet the stress is the same. So it's one of those things. As I'm speaking, I'm thinking, my God, I'm saying all this, but I haven't even started my collection because right now I'm working on my Kolkata Fashion Week finale collection. And then you have your, you know, collection to keep the store. So it's kind of, you know, you're always on the roll. And I also do so many movies and ads and just somebody was asking me, what are the movies, you know, like any film coming this year? And when I listed out the film stream, he's like, I think you're really busy. So it's one of those things. You know, so. The first one is my most memorable one because I had entered into this world where I had so many uh, designers I had grown up watching um, uh, participating. So I think the first one was my most memorable one in terms of my nervous energy and my excitement was at its peak because here I was uh, thrown into this um, uh, week with the country's biggest 50 designers. So I guess that was my most uh, memorable one. I, I'll never forget that day when I uh, showed my clothes on the runway. Why is everybody asking me this new question? This is the new question that all the press have come up with. Which is the designer? And honestly, I'm just looking out for myself. I hope I do a good job. It's strange enough, but I'm, um, I always, whenever I start creating a collection for my next season, I always make my team and I sit down and we watch what we did last. And that's my benchmark of what I need to cross. It really does not matter what the other designers create because uh, uh, because uh, at the end of the day, we're all from the same fraternity, but it's competitive enough uh, not to understand what the other person is doing. But um, I try to understand what my benchmark I, sat in, uh, I um, uh, set in the last season. And um, I like presenting my clothes in a different way. For me, I want to take, in that 20 minutes, I want to take uh, the people sitting in that auditorium into another world. And that's what my aim is. It's not just showing what your collection is. I like working around my music, my hair, my makeup. Because at the end of the day, uh, for people like you all, even the media is watching 70 shows. So at the end of the day, how different is your show going to be for that 20 minutes? Because I guess um, somewhere down the line, everything starts getting repetitive and everything starts feeling similar as the days progress. And uh, to my luck again, I've got the second last day, the last show. So um, people will have already watched a series of 40 shows. So. Um, I try to not only work on clothes, I try to style it differently and um, uh, see that my show is directed in a very different way. Immediately the next day I'm leaving for New York for a film for Priyanka Chopra. And uh, just before this I'm doing the Kolkata Fashion Week. Before that I'm in Singapore shopping for another film. Before that I'm in London shopping for some other film. Okay, that's the list. So yeah, that's the list. And so I really am looking forward to my show and next day I'm leaving. So. I wouldn't want to lie to you and say that, oh, this show, that show, I really... But next day I'll be so exhausted, I'll be on a flight, sleeping. I enjoy watching Manish Madhukra shows because he's a friend of mine, yeah, I'm, uh, he's a colleague. Um, we're from the same fraternity in terms of films. I love Manish Malhotra's work. I think he's fabulous. Uh, his shows are uh, one of the shows that I uh, enjoy watching. Um, 
Yeah. Essentially, Manish.